Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new week on House of Games. I'm Richard Osman. I'm joined by four brand new famous faces, all battling for this extraordinary trophy right here. Who are our players this week? They are Mike Wozniak, Claire Balding, Maureen Baig, and Jamie Lang. Well, <laughs> this, this is what we call a mixed bag, Mike, I would say. Uh, how, this, how are you with quizzing? I, I'm, not, I'm not strong on the oh, whole. Great, great. Yeah. How are you with confidence? Confidence, uh, yeah, rash confidence. Yeah, I can manage that. Beautiful. But, yeah, facts and recall, generally, no. You have come to the right place great. <laughs> if you have rash confidence and not great general yeah. knowledge. <laughs> okay. Exactly the combination we look Perfect. for. Claire. How nice to have you here. Thanks, Richard. Now, you have a competitive side to your personality? Yes, yeah, sadly, I do. It's very unattractive, but yes. <laughs> and how is that going to play out this week? Well, I desperately want a, a House of Games onesie. And okay. I want it so much, I, I might cry if I don't get it. So <laughs> I could behave very badly. Do you know what? I'm not, I'm not being funny. The rest. If we can make Claire Borden cry, we might get ourselves a BAFTA. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, know, but you, can, you, can see, you can see the clip, right, at the ceremony. Oh, yeah. And then we go, and let's take a look at the wonderful moment once again where Claire Borden <laughs> breaks down. So that's something we can, just across the week, let's think about that. Maureen. Hi. Now, before your TV career, you were a teacher. I was. And so you can ask questions. How good are you at answering questions? Um, I have been revising. What do you revise for House of Games? I watch lots Every of episodes. Oh, that's I looked at American states. Oh, oh, yeah. Clever. And I looked at populations. <gasps> OK, well, that's good. Jamie, I assume you've done an awful lot of revision. I, listen, I, I, they, they call me the quiz master at home. <laughs> that's what they What shout. sort of home do you live in? <laughs> oh, a big one. And they, they all <laughs> shout it as I come down the stairs. There he is. There he is, the quiz master. The quiz and I go, master. hello, minions. <laughs> wow. they're, all, they're all there. Yeah, now, I'm excited. Jamie, at the yeah. end of the week, someone wins this trophy right here. Mm. But at the end of each day, there are also daily prizes. Would you like to take a look at today's daily prizes? Oh, yes. Hey, whoever wins today will take one of these home. <laughs> there is uh, the House Games bathrobe, the bread bin, composting bin. Um, there are the placemats and the shower curtain, which must surely be the worst prize of all. Uh, what would you go for, Jamie, if uh, the quiz master were to win today? I'd go for the bread bin. Yeah, yeah, listen, yeah everyone course. needs a bread bin, right? Who wouldn't? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marine, what would you go for? I would like the robe. The robe? Yeah. There. I'm going for the shower curtain. That's, no, that's my aim. I want the shower curtain. <laughs> OK, I, Mike, I'll, I'll rethink that. Oh, you're rethinking? Yeah. I think maybe the robe is a better the idea. The robe. Ah. Mike? Well, m my mother-in-law, who I love dearly, made me this tie for this. She made you? Oh, my goodness. So I, she, she needs... I know she needs a composting bin. She's very green-fingered, so I think it would have to be the composting what bin. What is your mother-in-law's name? Diane. Diane. She makes ties. She's made me a few ties. They're real beauties. That's an absolute crap. There'll be a couple more I'll be busting out during the course of the week. Perfect. Yeah. Um, listen, shall we just get on and play? <laughs> OK, at some point we're going to have to, Jamie. Oh, Can't so wait. Sorry. Let's play our very first game. Every time I press this buzzer, a new game comes up. I never know what it's going to be. You never know what it's going to be. Our first game is... Rhyme time. I'm going to read out two questions at a time. The answers rhyme with each other. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. Let's have our first question of the week. Radio 2 breakfast show host who succeeded Chris Evans. And a Roman fortification that stretches across northern England. Claire. Zoe Ball, Hadrian's Wall. Zoe Ball, Hadrian's Wall. Lovely start to the week for Claire Balding, Zoe Ball, Hadrian's Wall. Next two questions. Pod used to flavour custard, ice cream, etc. And silver grey rodent with soft, thick fur. Jamie. Vanilla chinchilla. Is it vanilla chinchilla? It is. Well done, yeah, Jamie. Killed it. Yeah. <laughs> killed it. Oh, killed it. Yeah. Come well, on, Jamie. Thanks, guys. I mean, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. <laughs> vanilla chinchilla. Next question. Monopoly card that incarcerates a player. And who is this? That is Claire. Go to jail, Gareth Bale. Go to jail, Gareth Bale. Well played, Claire. Another well point. Done. Done. Next question. 2005 animated film with Ben Stiller as a lion. And US state alphabetically preceding Nevada. That is Mike. Uh, Madagascar, Nebraska. Oh, Madagascar, well Nebraska. Done. 
Welcome to the show, Mike Wozniak. <laughs> well played. Well done. <laughs> Next question. Worm used in bloodletting. And what is the title of this song? You always me right. Mike. Leech, Papa Don't Preach. Oh, he's on a roll, Mike. Well done. <laughs> Leech, Papa Don't Preach by Madonna. Well played, Mike. Next question. 80s police drama starring Tyne Daly and Sharon Gless. And Jones and Corden's sitcom set in Essex and Barry. Claire. Cagney and Lacey, Gavin and Stacey. Nice. Nicely done. Cagney and Lacey, Gavin and Stacey. Well played. Oh, uh, final question in this round. Who is this? And what is the title of this song? She was afraid to come out. Yes, Claire. Sarah Beanie, itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, yellow polka dot bikini. Oh, Claire Balding, well played. <laughs> Uh, well played. If you said that at home, that's the end of our first round. Time for our first leaderboard. Let's take a little look at where we stand. Rune, just keeping a powder <laughs> dry there. That's the way to start. Um, Jamie, you have one. Mike, you got two. Our early leader, Claire Balding, with four points. Well played, Claire. Thank you. Let's move straight along, shall we? Play our first pairs game of the week, and today it's going to be. Distinctly average, the player in last place gets to choose their partner in this round. Marine, today that is you. Who would you like to play this round with? I'm going to go with Claire. Mike is thrilled. <laughs> 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 yeah, Mike, Mike, Mike has very much got the other side of this coin. <laughs> <laughs> Mike um, is one lucky man today. <laughs> isn't he just? So, Claire and Jamie, if you'll swap places, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. <laughs> Marina's has done the sensible thing, chosen Claire uh, and Jamie and Mike down the end here. So if you'd all take out your tablets, please. What I'll do, I'll ask you a series of questions and you need to write me down a number as your answer. I will then take the average of each pair's number as their answer and whoever is closest wins themselves a point. Um, have a go at home as well. Team up with someone if you wish or just give your own answer. And here is your first question. Between 1960 and 2014, <laughs> how many drinking establishments did Bruce Masters visit to set the world record for the most pubs visited? Oh, my God. Whoa. So what's that? 54 years of... So write it down. Going to pubs, yeah. yeah. If you write down a, a guess at an answer. What do you think at home on this one? OK. Oh, it's a world record. Oh, Gone for quite a lot. Mike, what was your maths on this one? Number of years, number of days in the year. Yeah. Se several, several a night. And just sort of roughing it up a bit, I've gone to 90,000. 90,000? I feel like I might be a bit conservative now. Mike? Do you think 90,000? So, Jamie, um, I feel maybe you've gone down from 90,000. I thought Bruce went to 2,475 pubs in his 50 years. So you think 2,475. So just under one a week, you're thinking. Yeah, I think... Bruce, Bruce got his world record for. Yeah. Your average, Michael <laughs> Jamie, is 46,000 and a little bit pubs. Uh, Marie, what was your maths on this? I wrote 5,000. So that's two a week. I, I don't know why I wrote I think, listen, if Jamie hadn't written 2,400, I'd be going, I might be a tiny bit low, but now it looks huge. You did make me feel a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. How is that? That's so high. 5,000? <laughs> Five. How many pubs yeah. are there in the UK? Drink responsibly. Yeah, but he can go anywhere in the world. Yeah, it doesn't say UK. We don't it know says... if he's English, oh, do we? I'm back in my A-level exam again. It's a world record. Like, it yeah. could be all over the world. It could be anywhere. Before I came here, my mum said, read the question slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it again. <laughs> I didn't do it again. <laughs> Claire, up or down from 5,000? A lot up. Yeah. A lot up, because also I figured... Drinking establishments, that's not just pubs, that's bars as well. Yeah. So I've gone with 52,000. 52,000, so just over 1,000 a year. Uh, yeah, Brian's yeah. gone for. So your average is 28,000. So we've got 46,000, we've got 28,000. What do you think at home on this one? Did he go to more than one pub a week to set that world record? How many drinking establishments did Bruce Masters visit and who has scored the points? Oh, oh, sorry. I've got a really good average. That is unbelievable. Oh, my God. That is Look at that average. Yeah, I've that's... never seen anything like it. That's, that's, because... that's teamwork, and it's, it's making the wow. dream work, just like they say. That is yeah. absolutely... Listen, sorry. both, by the way, terrible answers. <laughs> what an... Ex I am 
going to have to give you two points each for that <laughs> because I've never seen anything that close before. It was the right kind of That's cannibal. Extraordinary. I just want to say, I think someone's disappointed they didn't pick me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know what, though? If, Mar if Maureen had chosen you, your average would have been about 3,500, so... <laughs> um, let's take a look at our next question, shall we? Based on their relative volumes, how many times Ooh. could the Earth <laughs> fit in the sun? How many times? This is one of those questions where I think, I'm so glad I'm not playing. <laughs> oh. She's like, mm hmm I mean, how many times could the Earth fit in the sun, do we think? I mean, it's sort of, with all space things, it could sort of be anything, couldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Jamie's still right. Yeah, I got it. OK. Everyone <laughs> got is it. in. <laughs> so, Maureen, where have you gone on this? Oh, I've got five. Why not, right? <laughs> You like that, Jamie? I think I've got a lot more than that. <laughs> That's all right. I okay. say. Uh, Claire, have you got more than five? I have. I've gone a thousand. Oh no! Yeah, no, no, no. Average again. might be fine. Yeah, oh, oh my god! <laughs> I went high <laughs> to average me out. Yeah, <laughs> but we still won't be the same as the super being over there. So don't worry. Okay. We're, we're going to lose this much. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so your average, Marine and Claire, is. Five hundred and two and a half. Um, Mike, what was your thinking here? Uh, I went pretty big. I went for two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred. It feels the like sun is big, right? It's a real. It's a big unit. Oh, yeah. But you know, and the Earth is big. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're right, Jamie. <laughs> I don't think I can tell it. Okay. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. All right. But just try and guess what you think I've gone for. He's is it gone so for big? A million. You think I've gone for a million? Yeah. Is you're so... way off. <laughs> oh, no. Nine hundred billion. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> That is, that is well, big, that right. is big. I, I was going to go for a trillion, and then I thought that was a bit too much. Take the edge off. <laughs> 900 wow. billion. Um, so we've got 502 for Claire and Marine. What have we got from Jamie and Mike? <laughs> Roughly 450 billion. That's a big differential. Have you ever had such a... We, Claire, <laughs> have never had anything, I think, even <laughs> approaching that different. I mean, listen, we've had mi difference of millions before, and that's like, whoa. This is the first time, Jamie, thank you, um, <laughs> that we've been in the 400 billions. <laughs> okay. First time ever. So, listen, at home, where are you closer to? 502 or 450 billion? And let's find out, shall we? How many times could the Earth fit into the sun and which team has scored a point? One wow. million three hundred thousand wow. is the answer. So Claire and Marine get themselves a point. I mean, no, we were nowhere near. No one anywhere near. No. Yeah. Final question in this round. Okay, how's this going to play out? In US dollars, what was the budget for the two thousand and one film, The Lord of the Rings: The Fellowship of the Ring? Give you a clue. It was not nine hundred billion. And and it wasn't five. <laughs> What do you think at home on this one? Budget for that film. Jamie, what have you gone for on this one? So, it was very high grossing. I think the budget was pretty big. Mm. So, I put 214 million and then I put big budget. Oh, interesting. And, uh, Just uh, let us know. Yeah. Just let us know there's a big <laughs> yeah. budget. But 240 million, you've written pounds, but we got this dollars, but, so that's well, absolutely fine. Uh, Mike, you're going up or down from 240 well, million? Well, I, I went down for two reasons. One, because I was thinking it's 20 years ago. Oh, yes. And, oh. and also because of my teammates. <laughs> so I, <laughs> so I, I went for a still big number of 85, 85 million. 85 million, oh. says Mike. So your average is $149 million, just under $150 million. Claire, what have you said? Well, again, I, now that I know my teammate, I knew that she's probably going to be quite conservative in her estimate. So I went a little higher than I actually think, and not far off Jamie, but a bit higher than him. 250 million. And Marine, you gone low? I have. I've gone for 50 million. 50 million. Every time you love it, you love a low answer. But I tell you what, we're going to come out almost identical on average. Oh, yeah, let's take a look at the average, shall we? Well, well, Ooh, well, wow. wow. Whoa. So all we need <laughs> is half a million. 50 million. Yes. Between us. So, um, what do you think at home on this one? What was that budget and which team has scored the last point of the round? Oh, oh. 93 million. It was shot in New Zealand, wasn't it? Million. And I wonder if they, I wonder if the New Zealanders clearly didn't charge. And also enough. maybe they made them all at the same they time might have and done. amortised the costs across them. Yeah. Um, you bulk buy your orcs. Don't you you? Orc bulk buy it yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, that is the end of that round. Tablets away, please, everybody. And Jamie and Claire, if you'll swap back, please.
Welcome back, Claire. Thank you. See you um, later, buddy. Bye, buddy. <laughs> Thinking of you all over there. <laughs> Let's take a look at the score, shall we? Two rounds down. Uh, Marine, off the mark, you Yay, have one point. Claire. Jamie, you have four points. We have joint leaders, Claire Balding and Mike Wozniak. Five points each. Well done. Yeah. Very close, very close indeed. Let's see if we can separate them with round three, which is... Internet history. Now, this is the round where we have to work out some figures from history using just hashtags. So, which figures from history use these hashtags, please? Fingers on buzzers. Who is this, please? Hashtag nerdy by nature. Hashtag the beagle has landed. Hashtag Galapagosip. Yes, Mike. Uh, Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin. I would honestly gonna. Absolutely ah. right. Hashtag, Honestly, business. Right. Hashtag evolutionary leader. Mm -hmm. Charles Darwin. Honestly, what, Jamie? I was, I, I, I promise you, yeah? nerdy by nature, I was going to say Darwin. No. And then I thought, this could be really bad. I just didn't. Go with your instinct. Yeah. Always. Go, go, yeah. go with it. more confidence, man. Yeah. Believe in yourself. Yeah, yeah thanks, Mike. You know go what? with your trillions. Yeah. That is what Jamie needs, isn't it? More confidence. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Mike, you really filled me with... The one thing he's lacking. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, so who's this one? Don't forget to buzz in on the first one, I Jamie. Yep. If you feel it. I'm going if to. If you feel it. Who is this, please? Hashtag Yorkshire born. Oh, Hashtag on. daughter of a preacher man. Oh, no. I was going to... That is Claire. Charlotte Bronte. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. <sighs> Hashtag middle sister. Jamie. Emily Bronte. So Emily Bronte. It is yeah. Emily Bronte. Well done. Press it again. <laughs> Go again. Hashtag Just keep the hanger. Hashtag what does Wuthering even mean? <laughs> well played, Jamie. Uh, next historical figure. Hashtag Bunny and Me. Hashtag Reggae Sauce. Yes, Jamie. Bob Marley. Is it Bob Marley? Absolutely right. Oh, oh get in, Jamie. Hashtag oh, kind of nice. Hashtag got up, stood up. Hashtag one love, three birds. Well played, Jamie. Nicely done. Whose hashtags are these, please? Hashtag there's one born every minute. Hashtag making a foundation. Hashtag shine bright like a diamonds. Jamie. <sighs> it's obviously not Rihanna. Is it Rihanna? Is not. <laughs> it's obviously, it's <laughs> obviously not. Uh, next hashtag. Hashtag two Oscars, seven husbands. Claire. Elizabeth Taylor. Is it Elizabeth Taylor? Well, well right there. Oh, God. Okay. Went for a button. There's one born every minute. It was her debut film. Oh, it was it? There you go. Final question in this round. Hashtag California Dreamin. Hashtag Maggie's mate. Oh my God. Mike. Is it Ronald Reagan? Mm. Is it Ronald Reagan? Well done. Absolutely well, right. Very good. Hashtag 40 and 81, hashtag win one for the giver, and hashtag Jane and Nancy. There's two wives. Well played, Mike. That's the end of that round. Three rounds down. Let's see how it's going to be. Very close at the top. I'll say that. Look at that for close. Wow. Claire and Jamie were six. Mike Wozniak stood out in the lead. Seven points. And Mike stand-up comedians, they so often win this show. Right. And uh, out in the lead, out <laughs> in the lead. Two rounds to go on Monday's Talk House of Games. It is very competitive already, isn't it? Have you noticed? Um, let's find out our next round, shall we? It is. I am not a robot. This is based on those things on the computer where you have to prove you're not a robot by pressing on various squares. Um, Mike, if you take out your tablet, please. You need to prove you're not a robot. Oh, right. Uh, and we do that using this picture. So is Mike a robot? So here's your picture, and you need, Breeze, to touch on any square that contains one of the original sugar babes. Of course, over the years, um, Jamie, there's been over 900 billion people <laughs> in the sugar babes. <laughs> yep. That is true. That is well known. Uh, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go bold as brass and pick another one. Good. So you think all three of the originals? Okay. okay so. We're going to find out if Mike Wozniak is a robot. Are those the original sugar babes? Let's find out, shall we? Is Mike a robot? 
is a robot, I'm afraid. Those are the, uh, the three originals. Keisha, Mutcher and Siobhan, of course. Okay. I mean, it all comes, all comes back to you now, doesn't yes, it? No, no, I see. Uh, yeah. You tapped on Heidi, Heidi there as well, unfortunately. You're who replaced close, Siobhan. though. Really close. The one I was wrong about was the one I was most certain about. No. Yeah. Right. Often the way, isn't it? Go with your gut. Often the way in life. He I did. Guess. I took my own <laughs> advice. Oh, don't go with your gut. Yeah. yeah. That's what I guess. Yeah, like you do that, I'll, I'll do the opposite. Yeah. Um, Claire, I wonder if you could take out your yeah. tablet. This is your picture, and this is what you need to press on. Could you please press on the Y axis? So any square that contains the Y axis. I've absolutely ah. no idea what that even means. Oh, that, that would be my comfort zone right there. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy you got that. <laughs> what does that mean? I... Think of the isosceles. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you picking things you remember from, from yep. school maths? I don't know. That's it. Lock in. I'm not going to spend too long on it because so I have no idea. So you are locking in. So let's take a look. Which of these squares contain the y-axis? Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely a y, right, so it's... Got it. Do you get it? The shape of the Y, so you remember it's the one that... Oh, that's good. That's good advice. OK, brilliant. Uh, Maureen, if you take your tablet out, please. OK. Let's see if we can score a point in this round, shall we? Is Maureen Baig a robot? Oh, so my... So please God. click oh, on can't. any square that contains the Tropic of Cancer. <sighs> You're kicking yourself because you revised American State. <laughs> <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not Tropic not, of Cancer, Tropic of Cancer. Nautical <laughs> navigational yeah. lines points. of latitude. I yeah. think that's really good. Yeah. I think you're strong there. Are you sticking on that, Maureen? I've locked it. Just the one square, locked it in. What do you think at home on this one? Um, let's take a look. Is Maureen a robot? Oh. Is a robot. Oh, so, oh, so you went, it's I the line I just above the it. equator. Oh. Jamie. Yep. Listen, no one's got a point this round. Ha. So uh, you could do it. Uh, be an important time to get one as well, just before our answer smash. So if you take out your tablet, please. Easy peasy. I'm going <laughs> to show you. There he is. Yeah, there there he is. There's my boy. There yeah. we go. Don't forget, you proud Jamie. Here, Dad. <laughs> before I show this to you, go with your gut or don't go with your gut. That's what I do in life. Yeah. So here is your picture. Now, could you please oh. tap on any animal that lays eggs? Ah. Oh. Nice. Any the animals that lay eggs? Yes. yes. Read the question. Oh, okay. I wish I'd had this one. Well, you'd be ostrich, one. fish, bang, bosh, 100%. Uh -huh. OK. Turtles, they lay eggs, cos they lay there on the beaches. Mm -hmm. OK. OK, the uh, dolphins, no, come on. I'm going to go for a platypus. Platypus, yeah. turtle and ostrich, and That's you're saying that done. bats, butterflies and dolphins... Yeah, butterfly is, is a caterpillar. Butterfly eggs. Butterfly, caterpillar, bat. You never had a bat egg. Let's find out. Is Jamie a robot or is he a real human being? Oh, what? oh. it's not. Butterflies lay eggs. No, oh. they don't. They don't. They lay cater the caterpillars become a butterfly. Caterpillars hatch from eggs. Butterflies do lay eggs. What? How about that? Butterfly eggs. I wouldn't have got that. Well, well done if you got that at home. Listen, that whole round, we needn't have done. No. <laughs> we all failed. Yeah. We all Everybody failed. failed. Everybody failed. So, the scores are exactly the same, with one round to go. And so, Mike retains his one-point lead. Great. Wow. How about this? Our final round, of course, is... Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. Point for a correct answer. Don't forget, a point off for an incorrect answer. Yeah. One point between the three of you. Maureen? Yes. Let's get some answers right. It may be too late for you to take the victory in, uh, today. Yeah. But not too late to put some points on the board. OK. Very best of luck, everyone. Your first category is... Hats and headwear. So those will be the pictures. There'll be a clue above. Smash them together, please. In the popular Christmas song, what type of animal is a red-nosed Rudolph? Yes, Mike. Reindeer stalker. Reindeer stalker. Well played, Amazing. Mike Bosniak. Reindeer and deer stalker. Next clue, next headgear. John Candy played a babysitting relative in which 1989 film co-starring Macaulay Culkin? Jamie. Ah, <sighs> oh, Home Alone Bucket. <laughs> Is it Home Alone Bucket? It's not. You lose a point, Jamie. You lose what? What? <laughs> Yes, Mike. Uncle Bucket Hat. Uncle Bucket Hat. Absolutely right. Oh, Uncle Buck. Wow. Bucket Hat. 
Uh, not only do you lose a point, you essentially gave. I alley ooped him. Yeah, you really did. You also did. I'm sorry, you gave me bucket. I had no idea what you called that. I don't know what that hat was. I gave you that. And then you slam dunk. I did. Yeah, you really did. I feel cold. Mike, now give it back to me. Pay right? <laughs> <laughs> it forward. Pay yeah, it forward. Yeah, come on. <laughs> um, next headgear. Which kitchen device comprised of a tool and a receptacle is used to grind herbs and spices? Yes, Mike. Uh, mortarboard and pestle. You haven't given it in the right order, I'm afraid. Oh. I'm so sorry, you lose a point. There it is. Yeah. I, I mean, he's, he's essentially given you every single word you need in that answer. It's good. Claire. Pestle and mortar board. Correct answer. Pestle and mortar and mortar board. Point to Claire. Uh, next category. Rappers. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues above. In the TV quiz show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Which lifeline removes two of the incorrect answers? Yes, Claire. 50 50 cent. 50 50 cent? Oh. Well played. <laughs> Nicely done. 50 and 50 cent. Next clue, next rapper. What does the P stand for in LPO, the abbreviation for the world famous London Orchestra founded in 1932? I don't know what her name is. No, exactly. Yes, Philharmonica. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. You lose a point. Oh, forgot about the losing the point. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Maureen. Philharmonicy Minaj. Philharmonicy Minaj. Well done. I got a point. Well done. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Well played, <laughs> Maureen. Yeah. Philharmonic and Nicki Minaj. Next clue and next rapper. The Calvin Harris single that reached the UK top ten in August two thousand and nine was titled "Ready for the What." No one fancies that. No one wants to lose a point. Let's find out. We Kendrick Lamar. So ready for the weekend and Kendrick Lamar. Next category. Oh. Oh. Done for the day. Well, it was very close going into that, and everyone was shipping points like crazy. I'm just trying to work out who's won. Let's find out, shall we? Uh, who has won on Monday's House of Games? Mike oh, Wozniak well, by one Mike. point. Well Thank played, you. Mike. Thank you. Mike Wozniak. And you won yourself a prize, Mike. Congratulations. I wonder what you would like to uh, take home with you. Well, I'm thrilled that it's today because, yeah, the, the comp has oh. been for Diane, please. So, Diane, your mother in law, you yeah. made your tie. Made it especially for today, for I'd the like first to, show. Absolutely. If I'd have won, I'd have got the compost bin for Diane. As yeah. Well. Oh. She's an absolute she green fingered marble. Mike and Diane, congratulations. The uh, House of Games compost bin. Let's take a little look at our first weekly leaderboard. Mike, you're taking through the maximum of four points. Claire with three, Jamie two, Marine with one. It is going to be a competitive week, I feel. Mm. Shall we all reconvene tomorrow? Yes, yes please. please. Excellent. Same time, same place. I'll see you there. We'll see you there as well on the House of Games. Love you. Thanks for the tie. You can put some really nasty stuff in this and just let it mulch. <laughs> <laughs>